Hello, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> what can you tell us about the ballad of Buster Scruggs and your particular storyline? I'm in it, and I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait to see it. Our particular storyline, which is the final one, is called This Mortal Remains, and um, it takes place on a stagecoach, like a kind of old-fashioned Western stagecoach, and there's five characters in it, and, um, and a dead body on the roof, and you spend some time in their company, and, uh, and it gets quite dark, and it's very funny. I mean, Coen Brothers are sort of masters of their art. What was it like working with them? Was it exciting to be part of the project? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, very, they make you feel very relaxed, actually, and I think they're very trusting. Um, what struck me when you, when you turn up to work is the amount of people in all departments that they've worked with, you know, since they were kids, you know, and who've risen to the top of their game, you know, whether it be props or costume, and uh, they all trust each other, and they also seem to give plenty of space. I mean, yeah, it, it was just fantastic. You can imagine it was a dream come true for me to work with them. And your segment seems to epitomise a lot of the stuff that's great about them. It's kind of got the macabre, dark humour, then it's also beautifully shot. So, you know, is that something that really appealed to you? Yeah, look, I, I, I loved it. And I, I, I love the whole kind of... Uh, the kind of the referencing to, to storytelling itself within it and our, our relationship to storytelling and indeed the viewers relationship to storytelling as they're watching it happening I thought it was really really interesting and really fun to play with what do you think happens at the end of your scene if people haven't seen it yet? well I don't know I've got my version but I, 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 I think everyone should have their own yeah and it gets darker <laughs> it literally very subtle and very elusive, isn't it? It's, it's not quite straightforward, isn't it? You don't quite know who's who or what they are and nothing. You can't really be sure of anything or where they're going and what that is, that hotel. Well, it's very funny. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, it, it's funny and ridiculous and, and weird. Kind of all you'd expect, really. They are and they're, um, they're not afraid to be different. They're outsiders, and yet they're the kind of... Are they the most mainstream outsiders there are? <laughs> or are they outsiders of the mainstream? I don't know, but, you know, I don't think they do things to please people or to second-guess. They make the work that interests them, and they they make stuff that they want to make, and they're not being led by trends. And I kind of... What I'd feel to appreciate when I watched uh, the films, I was a huge fan. I presume that they, they, they just hired actors that were quirky. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, and you could say that's that's true. They they, they, they you know they they don't go for the, the obvious Hollywood central casting for sure. But also the the, the writing is so uh, uh, it, on the mark it, isn't it? Yeah it is. And and it kind of suggests how you might want to play it. I think that's that's how I uh, read it.